Well, this is Topaz Mercury's username. This is his lawnmower. His real name's Garrett. He was supposed to get it running this year. I heard he ran over a bunch of uh, sticks or pieces of wood or something and it didn't start and it ran crappy before that. So, I haven't even looked at it yet, so I'll tell you what I do to fix lawnmowers that I know nothing about. First thing I do, put a vice grip on the brake handle so that I can turn the motor freely. Give it a tip and rotate the blade and I watch the bolt on the crankshaft to see if it wobbles. That'll tell me if the crank is bent or not. This one wobbles a little bit so that's telling me he may have sheared the flywheel key and that could be why it's not starting because that throws the timing off. So next step is to first see if these wrecked the engine. Pull the string. Compression feels normal so the engine's not wrecked. So I'll check the flywheel key now. Now that I've got all the peripherals removed, I have to remove the ratchet that releases when you start it. Turns one way and ratchets the other way. I made a handy dandy tool to do this when I was 14 years old. The bottom is four wheel nuts welded on. The round plate is the round plate off the back of a big magnet speaker. Piece of ordinary pipe. And a three quarter inch socket welded to it with a half inch drive hole. So, the way it works is these uh, wheel nuts slip over top of the bumps that hold the mesh on. Like that. Grips it. And with an air impact tool, comes off in the wink of an eye. Just like so. I wink my eye, and it's off. This part has ball bearings in it. Never oil or grease them. Just make sure the pockets are clean. If you put oil or grease in there, the bearings stick on the end, and then the thing doesn't catch when you're pulling. Well, now that I've got everything off, I can see that the flywheel key is in perfect condition, so now I can put it back together and continue to see what's wrong with it. It's a great idea to put a few drops of light oil in the hole of this thing every few years. There's even a little uh, sock in there to absorb oil. That's what the hole is there for. You can add the oil from the top. If you ever start your lawnmower up and a few seconds later it starts making huge screeching sounds, well that shaft is seizing up on here because there's no oil. So all you do is sand the shaft and add some oil. Never use grease. Now I need to put it up. Same tool. Just change the direction on this tool. I've got my foot on here to hold the flywheel from turning and I just lock it up. It's very important to put that thing back on very tight because if it isn't, when you go to start it shortly afterwards, the flywheel key will break all by itself. Next, it's very important to always try to start your lawnmower only when there's a blade on very tight. The blade is actually the flywheel. This doesn't have enough weight to be a real flywheel. It's just a cooling device. If you try to start it without the blade attached properly or not on, there's too much uh, kickback energy going to this thing that looks like a flywheel and it shears your key off for you and then when you pull it, it kicks back and rips the pull starter right out of your hand and hurts your hand and, that, and then you have to take it all apart again and change the flywheel key of course if you do get it running like that which is possible it won't idle right and it becomes very shaky and vibrating. next check the cooling fins aren't clogged with grass or that there's no mouse nests that were built in there over the winter so many people's good lawnmowers died that were in perfect working conditions. They didn't know a mouse nest was in here and they started it up and the motor overheated and that scored the cylinder. Next I'm going to check the oil. Gee Garrett, there is no oil on this dipstick. 
What's your problem? Well, next problem. Right at the corner of the spark plug, there's this piece of crud. I don't know what it is. Could be an oil deposit. But that's shorting out the electrode. The spark would rather not jump across that gap. It would rather jump across the carbony piece of crud. And that would probably stop the lawnmower from running. So now we're all oiled up. Time for a fresh spark plug. And next we'll check the carburetor. Check the air cleaner. Just got dust, it's not bad. I'll blow it out and re-oil it. it. Hasn't been oiled, so as you can see, the dust has been getting through the air filter and actually going into the engine, which isn't good. When you have this all apart, it's always a great idea to check the movement of the governor, that it's free and not sticking. What the governor does is, whatever speed you set your throttle for the engine to run at, if the engine gets slowed down by heavier grass, the air reduces, pushes it less, and then it causes it to rev up and compensate for the speed loss and try to maintain the same speed. It also prevents it from being over revved. If there's a lot of wind blowing it when this is turning, it moves it and slows the engine down, which makes the engine last longer, of course. I've now put a teaspoon of motor oil on this air filter, squished it all in, and it's already been blown out, so it's ready to put back in.